Hello YouTube, it is Toya Ruth here with the Divas in the Details and I am just stopping by to talk to you about how it used to annoy me completely when I would go out and I would see someone using something like an American Express Gold Card or a Platinum Card for mundane purchases because I'm like, you're not optimizing your spin. You need to use your card for the categories it's designed for. However, we can all see the light. I was horribly wrong in some instances, instances. Maybe people were using their gold card, that's what I'm gonna be talking about here in particular, to maximize their purchases. So, um, I started re going into my American Express app more frequently on my phone and looking at um, current Amex offers and benefits on the card. And there's always something that suits something that's other than grocery shopping or dining. So I'm like, the gold card is more than a dining grocery card because let me pull this up on the computer. So I have added 25 Amex offers to my card and I've actually used most of these. And let me just go ahead and pull this up on the computer. So one of the offers on the card is get eight membership rewards points for every dollar spent up to 3,000 points on Amazon.com. So when Black Friday happened, I try to like get the Christmas tree up the day after, uh, the day after Thanksgiving. And I do some of my Black Friday shopping online on Black Friday and then also on Cyber Monday. So basically you, by adding this to my card and it expires um, December 31st, this Amex offer, um, you get a point for every dollar spent at Amazon as a non-category spend. But because I also activated this Amex offer, I on top of that, I got eight membership rewards points for every dollar spent. So I end up getting nine membership rewards points for every dollar spent. Um, from, and I would continue to do that from now through um, December, which is better than my Amazon Prime card, which gives me 5% um, cash back for every dollar spent. So this is better because I feel like membership rewards points are more valuable than cash back. So then I also noticed that I had an offer from Dell, which I added to the card, and it is get one membership reward point for every dollar spent on Dell. So if I go to Dell.com and I was buying like headphones or laptops or accessories for my computer, typically on your American Express uh, card, you get four times points for um, dining in, eating out, ordering in. Um, on your card, you also get four times per uh, four times membership reward points for every dollar spent at the grocery stores, and then three times uh, membership rewards points for every time you book a flight through Amex's website or directly with the airline, um, and then one point for every other miscellaneous expense. Well, you can go to Dell. You get your one point for every expense, and then you also get an extra membership reward point because you have this offer until the end of December. So you're actually getting two points per dollar spent. Um, so I thought that that was a good um, fine, and that's just two applicable rewards. But there are tons. I think there's a hundred available awards right now. Some things aren't in my wheelhouse or things that I normally shop at, so I didn't add them to the card because I'm like, I'm not gonna make up reasons to spend money just to get this uh, reward. But for stuff that I was going to purchase anyway, then hey, that was perfect. Johnson & Murphy, um, we're not gonna tell all the business, but uh, I do like to buy gifts for my husband for Christmas from Johnson & Murphy. He likes them a lot, it's a good brand. Um, their, their items last forever. He has Johnson & Murphy clothes that are like 10, 15 years old. But for Johnson & Murphy, get 5% back on purchases up to $125 by using the link provided. So this particular one, you're not going to just go to Johnson & Murphy, um, Google it on your computer. You're going to go into American Express. You're going to go to your um, benefits and offers page, and you're going to click the link in the benefits and offers um, portion of the Amex website to be directed to Johnson & Murphy from Amex's website to get that. And it's so funny because the gold card is not a cash back card, but yet and still you can get cash back. Um, Bloomingdale's. So like, I like to get um, makeup and perfume from Bloomingdale's whenever they have a sale. And you get one membership rewards points per dollar spent. So that's on top of the non-category spend. That's through December um, 31st. Cole Haan. You get six membership rewards points per dollar spent up to 10,000 points through December 31st. Cole Haan is another classic brand. They're... Um, shoes and what handbags last forever um of course uber eats is, has now been added to um the american express gold card as a perk where you 
get um, a free Uber Eats membership um, for one year from the time that you activate it. And what that means is free delivery on all your Uber Eats orders, but then also if you make a purchase that's over $15, you get a 5% discount on that purchase. So that's amazing. But on top of that, um, I activated this reward that you get nine membership rewards points per dollar spent up to 1,800 points. That's crazy. That's crazy. So you get nine membership rewards points on top of the perks of having an Uber Eats free pass. So save you like $9.99 per month and that's that's great. Um, Adidas, another place our family shops often. We're kind of like a sportsy uh, family. You get four times membership rewards points per dollar spent up to 5,000 points. That's amazing. I did not add Dunkin' Donuts to my card because I have move beyond buying coffee from anyone um, on a daily basis. I'm like, I just order K-Cups from this company that I love so much, Black Coffee. Um, Black Coffee Company, they're based out of New Orleans, my hometown, and um, they also have offices in Atlanta. They will let you order your coffee. They'll package it with you with love, give you a spiel about how um, your purchase used to benefit, you know, the community in New Orleans, and you got some great coffee. And literally, I got 36 K-Cups from Black Coffee Company. Um, and I think it cost me like $33. That's less than a dollar per K-Cup. And I would be paying five or six bucks for coffee from, you know, the notable brands that have that green and white cup. <laughs> we're not bashing them, but we're all about saving money. And the money that I'm saving on buying coffee, I'm using it to funnel into my um, traditional IRA uh, to buy stocks to plan for the future. I have a company-sponsored um, 403b but then i also have my personal brokerage account and my traditional ira which i started with like 40 bucks and i'm trying to get to my uh, six thousand dollars a year added to it for 2020 um that's a whole nother video about growing money for the future so that um if you're not part of the fire movement and you don't plan to retire early there's no excuse for not retiring well so whenever you think of it start and invest in your future grow that money compound interest and even if you're not retiring at 45 years old or 40 years old if you retire at 60 retire at 60 with no regrets live off of four percent of that um return and have your money grow into perpetuity so yeah that's that's a whole another conversation we'll have to do a finance video and talk about that um oh i do this all the time so shop small you spend twenty dollars more you get ten dollars back and um this month for december it was showcasing um black owned brands through show fields so you go into your um american express um offers and benefits and you click on the shop small link and it will direct you to show fields and it'll show you all these businesses um that are prescribed to that so in this era of being socially distanced this is major key um i'm not trying to get on anybody's plane so i went into my offers and i realized that if you spend 200 dollars or more using um your amex card that you've added these points to one file at enterprise winter car you get 40 dollars back so you spend 200 dollars more you get 40 dollars back you are already going to drive in your car for a road trip use it my favorite reward that I have added, that expires December 31st for the Enterprise Rental Car. Um, none of this is sponsored. I'm just naming you the businesses that American Express says if you're a go-kart member that you can use to maximize non-category spend. So this is my favorite reward of all time because I basically find cards that fit my everyday needs and I use that card for that. And then I find other cards that have the holes, that meet the holes of what that card didn't meet. So I already kind of talked to you guys many moons ago about how I just love, love, love the U.S. Bank Cash Plus Signature Visa because the categories are more unique and more broad than um, a lot of 5% cashback cards. And technically, it's a rotating category card because every quarter you need to choose the categories. But basically, I pick the same categories every time. I pick utilities <laughs> for um, one of the 5% uh, Categories, I pick my cell phone bill for the other 5% category. And then for the 2% category, that's the only thing that might rotate. Sometimes I do grocery if I think I'm going to be going to Target and Walmart because it is one of the few cars that does recognize Target superstores and Walmart superstores as grocery stores. And most grocery cars do not. Or I use my 2% for gas. Well, lo and behold, 
this quarter we are all 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 um grocery stores for the u.s bank clash plus visa in the two percent category because at quick trip on your american express go card through the end of the year through december 31st you can get two times membership reward points per dollar spent at quick trip stores and it is no limit to that so you swipe that Amex Gold card at Quick Trip and you get your $1 for your non-category spend. And then you get these two membership reward points for them realizing when they, you know, approve the charge that you activated this reward. So you're actually getting three membership reward points per dollar spent at gas station. I don't know a card that gives you three times points on gas. I don't know one. This is a great deal. Yes. And I'm saying this for the gold card because that is the card I have. I only have the gold card and the Hilton, Hilton Honors card from American Express. But if you log on to American Express's website as yourself and you're checking, you know, my balance is on my card. I want to check my credit score. All these things they offer on the website. Or you want to see if you are pre-approved for other cards. Go to benefits and rewards or go to offers, I think it's called. And it will show you all the offers that they're offering for the year. And you just click on whatever American Express card you have. It could be a membership rewards card. It could be a cashback card like the Blue Cash Every Day. It could be one of their um, co-branded cards like their Marriott card or their, um, uh, what's the other one? It's a Hilton card. It could be like their Delta, um, I think it's called the Sky Miles card. Um, you can add it to any card. And you will garner membership reward points. <laughs> In addition, our cash back, whatever the offer is saying it will do, um, despite the fact that, that card is not meant for that. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, fanatics, for everybody who's like buying up gear for people for football season, there is a spend $100 offer through the MX website or more and get $25 back up to two times, so that'll total $50. And that's good through February 2021. It's good through... Um, the Super Bowl. <laughs> I am a, a football fan, so I'm very happy about that. I'm like, we can get our New Orleans Saints gear. So that's just some of the offers. I'm saying all this to say that I was being a total like card optimization snob, and I would look at people with disdain when I saw them using their credit card, what I felt would in a situation that I felt was a non-category spend, and I'm like, you're not maximizing. I want to have a sidebar with you and teach you how to use your credit card better. <laughs> um, but I could have very well been wrong. They could have been savvy and taken advantage of every single offer that their American Express card had for them and checking those offers when they were at different businesses and using that appropriately. So I'm saying all this to say, frequently check your American Express offers through the website, on your laptop, or on the app on your phone, definitely download the app. You'll know real time when something, a new offer pops up, you'll be have, you know, your balances at your fingertips in minutes. And um, use those cards responsibly. Whenever you charge something, I say this every time I do a credit card video, whenever you charge something, let it be a purchase that's already in your budget. So you can budget for utilities, you can budget for, um, your living expenses, like I, I buy toiletries or whatever, blah, blah, blah. You can budget for the food that you're going to consume from the grocery store as well as eating out or ordering in. Um, and you can budget for miscellaneous things like, hey, I want to do Christmas shopping or I want to, you know, get some things, um, you know, that don't fit a nice fine category. But you budget, you know, in those kind of holes that don't fit like your main um, go-to categories. And then after you charge that, I basically sit down every Friday and pay off my card. <laughs> I do that based on the amount of money that I've allotted for myself of per pay per paycheck because I budget paycheck to paycheck. I do not budget monthly because I get paid on a biweekly basis, but I clear out those charges on a weekly basis because I don't like debt. I like to get that off my plate. Um, my major debts in the past had been my student loans and my, um, truck and, um, we getting set free from all, <laughs> all of that. Um, so now I just choose not to live my life with the stress and the burden of debt, um, to free myself up for more financial opportunities and to invest in myself by, um, saving, um, and it's more needed than ever, 
um, into high yield savings, a couple of uh, months of net expenses, um, just in case something tragic happens with um, my primary job, my primary source of income, as well as investing. So if you found this content helpful, um, this was not a fragrance video, this was not a hair video, this is not a makeup video, this is talking about credit card optimization, then please hit that like button and most certainly subscribe and join the family. XOXO, the divas in the details. Thanks for watching. Bye.